vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Copy alarms. At T plus 33 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40. After clearing the tower, we tilt or gimbal the engines to initiate a roll maneuver, which you may notice in the stage one camera view. This enables the vehicle's normal. antennas to stay in the best position for communicating with the ground. And in just a few seconds, we'll be throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. And there's Max Q. And from this point on, while Falcon 9 is still accelerating to an orbital speed of about 17,500 miles per hour, aerodynamic pressure on Falcon decreases as we approach the vacuum of space. Impact chill has started. Now we have six events coming up in quick succession, and we should hear all of these called out by mission control, starting with Miko, then stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, or SES one, and the first and the first stage boost back burn, and lastly, fairing separation. After stage one shuts down its engines and separates from the second stage, the booster turns itself around in a flip maneuver to make its way back to land near the launch site. The boost back burn is a controlled engine burn that both slows the booster's forward velocity and then propels it towards its landing site. After boost back, stage, will, stage one will continue to coast in microgravity to the highest point of its flight called the apogee. It will then begin to descend. Cut off. There we just heard Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage separation. And back ignition. And. SES-1. One. One great call outs there and a great view of that MVAC engine lighting up. So after boost back, it will then begin to descend under the acceleration of gravity until it's time to relight the engines for entry burn. Fairing separation confirmed. Great call out there for fairing separation. We will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves once they fall back to Earth with our recovery vessel, Go Cosmos. Coming up next, boost we will have shutdown. boost back shutdown right on time. Both vehicles are nominal trajectory. So we're now about T plus three minutes and 48 seconds into today's mission. And our next major mission milestone will be the first stage entry burn, which will take place just past the T plus six minute mark. To start the entry burn, we will relight three of the M1D engines, which is really similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. The entry burn helps reduce the heat generated from the friction of the, of the atmosphere and reduces the aerodynamic forces acting on Falcon, which helps maintain controlled flight and prepare for the landing burn. We are about one minute and 15 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level and these achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust 
each during ascent and descent. And at liftoff, Falcon 9's first stage has thrust that's greater than five 747 airplanes at full power. And the MVAC engine that you see burning on your screen has a, a much wider nozzle, and that one is optimized to 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. That entry burn coming up in about 30 seconds, where Falcon 9 will decelerate by firing its Merlin engines. Stage one entry burn. You can great call out there and you can see entry the, entry, shut down. the entry burn just completed. But you can see that uh, that the stage one is still continuing to move really, really fast, even though it is slowing down. During entry burn, the vehicle is flying through Merlin's exhaust gases or, or its plume, which deposits a Stage layer of soot on the vehicle surface. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. Stage and with each flight, the soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. We have a landing burn coming up in about 30 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. Great call for a landing burn. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing burn. And that was the 13th launch and landing for this first stage. And this landing marks SpaceX's 347th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Stage two is in terminal guidance. We have Seco 1 coming up in about stage two FTS 15 stage. seconds from now. In fact, shut down. Great call out. We just had Seco 1. And we aren't expecting to have ground station coverage for the first three deployments today. So we'll be returning around T plus 